I, I really think the hybrid's one of the greatest inventions in golf in the last 15 to 20 years in terms of helping everyday players play better golf. No, I, mean, I think what, what happened, unfortunately, to the hybrid over the last decade, particularly four or five years ago, is that there was this crazy emphasis on distance. And we started seeing hybrids that were, you know, too long to be hit from the fairway. And that's, that's frankly, that's where you hit hybrids. Because if you're like me, you're left with 180 to 210 yards to the green, and you need a club that might go that distance. For me, it's obviously my driver, but <laughs> <laughs> so I tee it up in the fairway. But, but that's the fact. You can't, you know, feel comfortable with a traditional three iron or four iron. That's what the hybrid should be. It should be a better version of your, of the long iron that's designed to replace. I mean, the original hybrids were exactly what they're intended to be. Most of the shaft lengths corresponded with the shaft length of the iron they were replacing. If you had a three hybrid, it was the length of a three iron. If you had a four hybrid, it was the length of a four iron. Then I remember one year during the hot list, we had one submission where the hybrid was 42 inches long. That's, that's a three hybrid, that's a three wood length. You know, everybody caught, got caught up in the distance chase. The shafts got longer, the club heads got bigger, but you know what? It's starting to finally come back the other way a little bit. The number of hybrids that you carry in your bag, I mean, there were players that had on tour that had three or four hybrids in sure. the bag. Well, Y Yang has four. And then, you know, as we've always talked about, a lot of people can learn more from an LPGA player than a PGA Tour player. And you look at people like Lydia Ko and NB Park, you know, they have, they start their iron set at the six iron. I mean, so that's what I think people should be looking at. You know, unless you're really a skilled player, maybe look at starting your set at the six iron and then using hybrids for your five, four, and if you're considering a three, even a three. Having three hybrids, there's no shame in that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason that anybody who, who plays golf and can't break 80 consistently should not have at least two hybrids at least in their two. Bag. I mean, I've, had, I've used one for the better part of the last 15 years, but late last year, I even put one in for my five iron, and you know what? That par three at Rock Ridge, fifth hole member guess, instead of having it hit and roll over the green, it's nice to see it hit and stay on the green.